Okay, so now we are uh, continuing the uh, process of uh, picking the um, data from the table to get the actual number of tubes. I just made uh, some modification to the file. Uh, I, I didn't do anything to the formulas. It's just moving the, the uh, these two tables from down to here. Uh, and, and this, w w we will see that it, it's going to make life easier for us when we um, write the formula. So it's going to be more simple than uh, having them uh, arrange it this way. Um, so um, uh, what we st uh, did last time is that we, we were able to change the um, uh, the number of passes and uh, by changing the number of passes we were uh, doing our calculations uh, for um, this this table. Okay, and we saw that for for instance, I have this 300. It's gonna pick the six passes. It's 306 and 21 and 25. So the, it was working fine. What we need to do now is to um, go one more step further by picking uh, the the data from the these uh, three tables according to the data in the uh, header. Um, which is the outer diameter of the tubes and the pitch, uh, how, uh, how how much is the pitch. Um, and, and these are the data that we have here actually, the 15 over, or 3 over 4, 1 and uh, 1 uh, and quarter, which is this, this, and this. And the outside diameter of the tube, which is 3 quarters, 3 quarters, 1 and 1 and quarter. So these are the values that, that we have. Um, and that uh, we we uh, we need to take into consideration um, when we uh, do the calculations. I think I did something wrong here. This shouldn't be. Um, I think I did something wrong when I was changing the values because this pitch should be <coughs> um, 15 over 6. Oops. I have 15 over 16 um, and 1 1 and quarter and 1 and 9 over 16 um, so these are the values that I need to pick from so I have 3 quarters with with the uh, 15 for 16 or 16 for this first one so what we need to do to uh, move to this table or this or that is to use offset but this time offset was is not going to be just one column uh, two or three columns to go from one pass to eight passes we will go from this table to this table to this and to this um, and to do this we need to add one more thing like the uh, the passes offset i would call it the table offset value and this table offset value would would move everything i did here into this or that or this we will we calculate let's let's count how many cells we need or columns we need to shift so it's one two three four five six seven so i have seven um this this value should be seven if i'm working here and it will be two sevens which is 14 to work here and three sevens which is 21 if i want to work here this, this of course this is in addition to the offset that i have already for for the passes um, that I did before. So to do this we will do again one if conditional um, or, or it's gonna be nested if conditions but uh, in this case I want to tell him if the outside diameter is three quarters and the pitch is 15 or 16 we will have no no offset. Um, and to have two conditions we mentioned before that we use the AND function <clears throat> so I would say that AND uh, this equals uh, 3 over 4 and this equals 15 over 16 then uh, he would put the offset as 0 and otherwise we will have another option we have to say and um, and this equals 3 quarters and the pitch equals 1 and in this case we would have the offset equals 7 otherwise in case of uh, and um, this equals uh, 1 and this equals 1 and 1 over 4 um, then we will have the shift uh, equals 14 cells 
uh, or 14 columns and in the last case if and um, this equals 5 over 4 which is 1 and 1 over 4 and the pitch equals 1 and 9 over 16 then it would be 21 and we will close all the brackets so let's let's try so uh, for three quarters and 15 or 16 it's working fine i always like to check my my functions before i proceed to the next step and this this is always good to make sure that you have no problem with what you did so you don't have cumulative errors and uh, it would be difficult to track um, the next case it was three quarters and one inch so it, it's now seven um, the next is one and oh, five over four it's 14 the last one is one and one over four and then one so it's giving to another so so it's, it's going very very smoothly now um what you are going to end up doing is just add something to the offset and we said that the offset is going to be um uh, based on the, the this this value which is calculated from the combination of the outside diameter and the pitch so what i would do is to uh, add the new offset to the old offset um, this is all what I need, I need to do I, I don't want to do anything more because this this is exactly what I do uh, so this is what I would do here and what I would do here as well and I'm done so let's let's try I have now 300 uh, six passes in this table so six passes 300 uh, I have 327 and 35 so it's working perfectly uh, if i change it to two passes i will have 305 and 33 i would pick any any random values i would go for one and it has one and one over four let's make this 220 I, i'm just trying any any random combinations uh one pass for instance um, so I have one pass in one and one a quarter. So I have this 225. So it's going to be 241 and 23 and one over four. It's it's perfect now. Uh, let's give it one more shot here. Um, three over four with um, uh, it's not 15 with one for instance, um, and make this 138. Um, so let's see here one pass 138 so I have 151 15 and 25 so it's it's working perfectly now so in, 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 in this case now I don't have to worry about anything I would just this, this these four inputs need to be chosen um, perfectly and everything is, is now easy to do uh, you don't need to worry about anything more um, so it's it's saving a lot of time, it's saving uh, a lot of effort, and uh, it uh, prevents you from making any mistakes when picking the um, number of tubes. So um, I hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Inshallah. Goodbye.